Hey everyone, welcome back to Crystal's Literary Lounge. I'm Crystal, and today I wanted to talk about Fox Club. It is book two in the Belladonna series. I read Belladonna last month in October. It was a five-star read for me. And so Fox Club picks up right at the end of Belladonna. We are introduced to Fate. He is a new character. We find out that he is actually Death's brother. And we also, once again, have this murder mystery where the Duke has died and they're trying to figure out who did it, how this happened. So in the prologue, Fate is like weaving tapestries and um, there are like strands of life and every life has like different colors and Fate knows how everything is supposed to play, be played out for each of those individual souls. He notices that Cigna and Bly's tapestries, they've changed. Something has called to him. He's noticing that their fates are kind of intertwined. It's different. They have taken on a life of their own. And he really pays close attention to Cigna's because he suddenly sees this like specific color that should not be there and he has only seen it one other time. And it's alluded that Cigna was created to torment death and that fate and death, they're at odds with each other. Something happened in their past. And basically he thinks now that Cigna has been his fate's reincarnated like love of his life. So it's fate basically trying to get Cigna to fall in love with him and to like remember their past. And Cigna's repeatedly like, I don't know who you are. I don't remember you. I'm in love with your brother. I love death. While her and Blythe are also trying to figure out who killed the Duke and free Blythe's father from jail. Um, Cigna does go back to Foxglove in this, so we do get to see her ancestral home. And that's uh, basically it. It's just them trying to outsmart fate throughout this whole book. It really was just a setup for Wisteria, which is going to be Blythe and Fate's book. This was not my favorite. It might be four stars, maybe. I really preferred Belladonna. This was basically just a filler book. There wasn't much that happened. There were things that, like decisions Signa made in Belladonna, that came back to haunt her in this book. I felt though that things in this book could have kind of been divided up between Belladonna and possibly Wisteria. I don't think we needed a trilogy. I think it would have been better as a duology. I am excited for Wisteria. I will check it out. I will read it. Um, but Fox Love, not my favorite. So, uh, but Wisteria will come out next year and I will definitely read it. I think that that one will be better than Fox Love. And of course, Belladonna, I still recommend it. Five stars. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.